the only reason they're not all dead yet is because Ultron doesn't have all the stones. He grabs the soul stone, but is pushed away and sliced in half. But he just reverses time and casually takes the stones back and prepares to snap. How will they survive against the might of all the infinity stones? And how will they stop the man whom even the Watcher was afraid of? This is episode 9. The story begins with Captain Carter and Natasha Romanoff planning a drop on a pirate ship. As everyone parachutes up, Carter just jumps out of the plane. On the boat, Bartrock ruthlessly attacks her, when suddenly... You have been chosen. Across the multiverse, Killmonger, Star-Lord, Thor and Gamora are chosen by the Watcher. He explains to them why they were chosen and they go to an abandoned universe where they plan to come up with a strategy and then lure Ultron in. Gamora asks Thor if she trusts him as Killmonger plays with the clone's head. As they celebrate, Thor gets a little too excited and Oh, there is life in this universe. Killmonger quickly grabs the helmet and a portal opens and Gamora and Killmonger flee, leaving the others behind. Strange quickly puts a protection spell over them and Thor ignores the plan and attacks Ultron. But it has no effect. Star-Lord and Carter plan to blow up his head and attack as Strange keeps Ultron occupied. She dashes into him and he grabs Ultron from behind but is thrown aside like a doll before he can shoot. Strange buries Ultron in hammers as Thor lights it up and the Chala reveals something shiny. They escape into a portal as Strange holds him back. Ultron snaps his fingers but it has no effect and before leaving he drops a few presents for Ultron. On the other side, Killmonger and Gamora wait, as it was all part of the plan. She hands over the stone. Everyone gets defensive, but Carter earns her trust. He drags Nat up, but Thor rips out his arm. Killmonger grabs the stone but fails. The girls lunge for it, but Ultron blows them apart and in his rage, he blows up the entire planet when Strange reverses it and eats the safe stone. What? He's knocked aside by Star-Lord as they hit him with everything they've got. Shields, lasers, lightning, magic not letting him think or make a single move. As they hold him off, Natasha grabs the stone but can't. Ultron knocks them aside and takes it, but is blown apart and sliced in half. But he just casually reverses time and grabs the stone, preparing the snap when Enraged, he turns huge and Strange finally unleashes his full power, crushing him down to the floor. They grab the Soul Stone as everyone holds him down and Strange goes all out, 
they power up the infinity crusher and it quickly crawls over but his bonds are starting to lose he's too strong and and ultron is finished but something doesn't feel right i'm when honestly surprised he tells them that every universe is unique and Gamora Stone Crusher could only destroy the stones from her universe not from Ultron's universe he unleashes his power focusing on Strange as Natasha's shield starts falling apart and and suddenly she has a plan ultron goes all out as natasha and carter rush towards him strange is barely holding everyone together as his shields start falling apart natasha and captain get closer and closer as the fire disappears from his eyes natasha is in position but Carter is far behind she fires <laughs> nothing happens when suddenly A fascinating change of pace yeah they fight but end up destroying the finally ending the crisis when suddenly they prepare to fight again and he calms them down and slowly tells them that this is the only way to protect all of the multiverse he promises to bring steve back and restore all their worlds and they're convinced hand over the stones cousin i'm sorry it has to end this way this time their shields instantly begin to fade when that armor belongs to me and he simply takes the stones away but killmonger won't let him and strange realizes they were never meant to win he disappears and a sudden quiet fills the air strange meets the watcher who tells him that someone that someone will always have to look after them forever and strange tells him he's nowhere to go anyways they leave for their home worlds but carter wants to go some place and i earned my happy ending but the watcher tells her that her universe needs her natasha absolutely refuses to walk through when well the door was more of a metaphor anyway and he tells her this is a universe that lost it's a its mess weapon. fury immediately recognizes that she's different but something tells but me you have her spirit lovers reunite and new alliances are formed as the watcher promises to protect his home the multiverse forever <laughs>